cancer screening or any health screening is to detect disease before there are symptoms. And that's because there's a belief that finding it early would allow us to make something more curable. And that always requires testing because not everything we find early, we can fix. And that leads to false positives, false negatives, and some of the challenges that I'll point out in health screening. But cancer screening, the goal still is to find it early while it's smaller, more curable, and there would be less toxicity or harm during treatment. Cancer screening seems like we should do a lot of screening and we should look for everything. But in most places, including Singapore, there's actually only general agreement on a few things that we know. We should screen for breast cancer. We should screen for colonoscopy and we should screen for cervical cancer. These are high level evidence uh, screening strategies globally that make a big difference, not just on early diagnosis and treatment, but really show that we can save lives by finding disease early. What's the simple way to think about risk? I just put people into low, average, moderate, or high risk. This is a good way to think about breast cancer risk and mammograms, which we could talk about another night. But just think right now, there's a group that's kind of in the middle, people that are lower risk and people that are higher risk. But how could I tell the difference? Is there a magic test? Is there a, a blood test, something I can do? There's something easier. It requires me to talk to you, to talk to the patient and get a family history. Taking a family history is a great way to get to know the patient, know the risk, and know what their goals are. Um, the uh, International Agency for Research on Cancer has identified these 14 cancers, colon and stomach and kidney, breast, uterus, thyroid, liver, pancreas, all have this strong and variable association with obesity. Smoking and cancer uh, are a horrible mix. Smoking causes cancer. If you're a smoker, please quit. Call someone, ask for help, reduce your tobacco intake. But it's so clear that smoking is associated with so many types of cancer um, and we really need to reduce uh, tobacco usage at a global level. Alcohol is also associated with an increased cancer risk. Exercise. Exercise consistently reduces the risk of cancer and importantly reduces the risk of cancer coming back. Frankly, it improves the quality of life of people living with cancer. And I don't say that because it makes sense. I say that because it's actually proven medical science from clinical studies.